I go to NYU, I transferred from BMCC, yes, a community college. That's how shy I was going to a community college because of the stereotypes around community colleges. It's like, you didn't do well in high school, da 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 da. And it's not if I didn't do well in high school. I did high school in Ghana, like I said before. My Westy results were good. My white results were good. Had it been a smooth process for me, I would be graduating university this year. Like my friends back home are graduating this year. Like most of them are graduating this year. And then even if I stayed, and even I've stayed in Ghana, I would be in like maybe University of Ghana. No, in fact, I would be in Lancaster. See, I wanted to go to Lancaster so but everyone knew it became like my high school nickname like this is a story for another day but today I'm going to talk about um, five reasons why you should consider going to a community college if you're in high school in fact and even if you're um, recently graduate a high school graduate and you're still thinking about schools you're undecided you're confused see, I'm giving five reasons why you should consider going to a community college and if you fall in the five like reasons or categories you should definitely consider going to a community college because I'm a proud product of a community college and see let's get right into the video let me tell you assalamu alaikum everyone hi everyone welcome to hijab on cam and before I get into the video I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's been supporting me so far the feedback that I received on my first vlog was so great um the likes the shares the comments I really appreciate it and today as you can see we are still on these college like issues college advices tips and tricks and this is because I've been received so much feedback so many messages on the college tips tricks advices and all of that scholarships and all of that so I think in the coming days or like in the coming weeks I'm going to be sticking to um, college advices, college tips and tricks and all of that for the meantime. So yeah, I hope all this information helps you and keep um, your messages coming in if you want to see some videos about college or like um, university scholarships and all of that. I'll be glad to do that and I'll be glad to share. So today we're talking about five reasons why you should consider going to a community college. And like, see, honestly, I'm a proud product of a community college and I think that was like one of the best decisions I've ever made moving to the United States like going to community college is one of the best decisions I've ever made so if you check at least two of the reasons or like let's say at least two or three reasons in what I'm the reason I'm going to be given don't hesitate going to a community college like you wouldn't regret it I know going to university is cool and there's so many stereotypes around um, community colleges that everyone feels like if you go to community colleges like you're still in the city you didn't do well you're undecided like you are you are whatever but that's not the case like it's see I was shy going to a community college so like if I'm giving thumbs up to a community college today then you should you should know that it's not as bad as people say or like it's not as bad like all the stereotypes are like crazy but then if you check at least two or three reasons you shouldn't hesitate going to a community college you actually consider going to a community college and reason number one is tuition tuition because um community college tuition is lower like way lower compared to like a normal four-year college or like a four-year university because community college is two years and it's a associate diploma it's associates in science or associates in arts or, or all of that but it's great tuition i think I, talk, I keep talking about money tuition in the united states is crazy and if you're not smart and if you're not like you don't have scholarships or you're not like a uh, terribly good student you get like a full ride or something tuition is crazy so if you think money is going to be a problem like going to a good school and you're thinking hey i got into this school but the money is going to be a problem maybe you, maybe you got into a very good school like you go into a suny albany buff state or something but the money is crazy because out of state, when you're out of state, it's different from in state. When you're in state, the money is lower because you're in state, you're a resident. The out of state tuition is crazy. SUNY and CUNY tuitions are different. So out of state tuition is crazy. And you would think you got into maybe a good school of state, but the scholarships that you, you're getting is not enough. See, don't, it's not, it's, it's, going in depth is crazy there are a lot of students that are in depth which is not advisable but sometimes advisable depending on what school you're going to like if but then don't risk it don't risk it if the money is too much if the money is a re, if it's a reasonable amount you could go for it but if it's just too much tuition is going to be a problem like paying for school is going to be a problem definitely consider a community college because when i was in bmcc i think the tuition was like 2500 or something like that like Yes, and it, it depends on the credits you take, but then they have like a flat rate. 
so if paying for school is going to be a problem like if you're thinking nah if your parents are going to go to go in depth for like 10k or more no 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 definitely consider a community college that's reason number one so if you are checking all these reasons reason number one is if tuition is going to be a problem for you you're going to take loans to go to school it's not advisable like just go to a community college like it's less you save money you save a lot of money then that's two years you save a lot of money it's a good degree if you do well you could get a job and then yeah it's better than going in debt for like i don't know a, a tens of thousands that's crazy so definitely consider going to a community college reason number two why you should consider going to a community college is if you're an average student so i say average student because sometimes you're an average student but you have this school let's say you want to go to stony brook or you want to go to this school or that school but they're average you're not up to their average I'd, I'd say but it's that school that you want to go to i'll say just have patience and consider patience be patient have patience treat you though iron your heart like see iron your heart nyan to wasia to to have um patience yeah korean and just go to a community college see that would be the best decision you ever made if you're an average student like you let's say you're eyeing the school but you can't make it because of your score or you're an average student but you still want to go to that school your best bet is going to a community college and you going to a community college your chances of transferring is high because a community college is great um it's not so much pressure than like okay trying to go to that school you get me sometimes average students okay you you apply to the school you get in but you're an average student you can't keep up the gp and all that you'll be on probation no 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 it's not advisable if you're an average student or like middle average or like not even close to average like you're not a very very good student what i would say is go to a community college there you learn better it's just like you meet people like you 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 can interact all these students and also which gets me into this um which gets me into the reason number three that's um community college is a smaller community like smaller community smaller classes one-on-one -on -one is more than in like um four-year colleges or like four -year universities because when you're in a community college, you're an average student, going to a university is crazy because everyone is about their own business and all that. If though you get your study groups, you meet people and all of that, some teachers have that time, but see, all these big lecture rooms, especially depending on your major, these big lecture rooms, conferences and all that, who has time? Like, you are following TS about teaching assistants and all that. So community college is your best bet because of reason number three, which is because it's a smaller community, it's smaller classrooms and all of that. So if you're an average student, definitely consider going to a community college because of reason number three, which is because it's a smaller community. The classes are small, you get one-on-one, -on -one, office hours with teachers, you have tutors, learning resource centers, universities have, universities, universities have that as well, but it's too big, it's just, you know some people are not like some people are not fond of like big crowds big classrooms it's like you can't even raise your hands to give your feedback share your views it's like there's so many people and you're always dealing with ts you're not even interacting with the i'm not saying ts are bad ts are great some ts are great but others not so great and you want to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with a professor you want to have that one-on-one -on -one vibe with a professor you want to hear from the professor himself because he is grading is he is giving the materials to the class or the course and all of that tiers are also helping but then you want to have that one-on-one -on -one connection with a professor and community colleges are better because of that small community you have a small community small classes you can talk to the professors after class and all of that which is great so first reason i said if your um, tuition is going to be so hard for your tuition paying school fees is going to be crazy for you definitely consider going to a community college reason number two is if you're an average student or like a not so good student definitely con um consider going to a community college because you don't want to go and stress in a four-year college four-year colleges are crazy like it's grind you have to grind because see it's crazy and then you definitely want to have a smaller community where you better yourself and be a better student before transferring it's like community college grooms you you get me so and reason number four is if you're undecided yes so if you're a student and you're undecided like you don't know what you're going to do in college you're undecided you've not decided whether you're going to do science math arts or like film business whatever you're undecided like you're and it's normal in high school sometimes you feel like you like this 
you it's crazy like all your thoughts are like it's like everything is all in your eyes so it's okay maybe parent, your mom is saying doctor your dad is saying um businessman lawyer this and that is all and then you haven't and because high school is like okay you're still kids you're still teenagers you're still exploring some people are lucky enough to be like um to know what they want from the get-go but others are not so lucky it's not as if you're not so lucky but then you you need to practice maybe it's either you know so many things so like you you are you're so versatile that you have to pick that one that you are most best at or like you're too good at and then so you're still exploring so if you're an undecided student your best bet is going to a community college because you're undecided you're going to a four-year college for your college you're supposed, you're supposed you can still go to a four-year college undecided but then i feel like it's just too much because you go to a four-year college you are supposed to know what you're about you get me know what you're about go for the classes because you can't stay there a whole year still undecided whatever about community college you're still there um maybe in a sophomore year you're not thinking okay you want to move to the major now you are supposed to be taking the electives again and all that but in a community college you can do your liberal arts you could stay undecided and be taking maybe um the electives that interest you the most and all of that you can even do liberal arts throughout you can even um um do a major in liberal arts um throughout two years in a community college and then you explore with your electives you know what you want to do so being undecided or if you're undecided you don't know what you want to do yet see i'd say community college is your best bet like your best 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 your best if, if it's a word if that is actually a word community college is your best best bet because you're undecided you go to a community college it's a smaller community you are seeing all these courses you are meeting all these professors you are exploring you're learning see all these four-year colleges are also coming to your school career fair all these um for your transfer fair and all of that see you are also learning and you are you're exploring and say mm, okay i like business okay i like law so there you've explored you've decided and you start building on that over there and you're being groomed over there so be if you're an undecided like you don't know what to do yet see your community college is your last stop or your bar stop it should be your best bet i would say like in my opinion in my some of my my notes agree with me but then see being in a community college i went to a community college undecided because um uh, i did science when i was in ghana like not science but home science home economics with biology because i wanted to come in uh, i wanted to be a nurse not like i wanted to be a nurse but then everyone wants to be a nurse or a doctor you get me but then you can you guys can see the way from the way i'm talking me nurse i'll just talk on the patients and even increase the sickness for the patient but then i know i wanted to go into like the media the arts film and stuff like that i wanted to talk for a living like i just want to talk because i do that best like i do arts fashion i love all of i love anything that's like art talking and then convincing people in a way public relations and all of that but then when i came it's like okay i, I always said i wanted to be a doctor um from childhood so it's like you have to go with it you can't change your mind and like you know african parents we like african parents like the doctors the lawyers all those like white color um occupations and all that so when i went to bmcc i was undecided i was like li um, liberal arts i was like see what will i do that's what my parents i don't want to do um this thing again like i was still exploring but i took um i took speech first um i, I took speech um class first and like see I killed that speech class like the teacher knew that art is for me media is for me talking and doing all this is for me and i'm a good speaker and all that so i feel i feel like nah this is what i want to do so i then decided i'll go into communicate um, communication studies and i explored i they groomed me there it was a great experience so if you're undecided your best bet is a community college and then the final reason that's like reason number five why you should go to a community college is that is the reason why i'm in nyu today see they have going to a community college you have your chances of transferring into a better school is wild it's crazy and that's if you do well if you do so well because com doing well in, com in a community college is easy it's easy but it's not easy people will say that community college is easy they don't even do anything see i'm mad 
<laughs> sorry 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 but then it's crazy it's not like it's so easy that you just go and you get four points ogp and you just go see i started a community i'm saying today on record i started a community college with a 2.5 gpa and i graduated with 3.7 gpa because i went there undecided i didn't know what i was doing not as if i was an average student but it was hard and then me transition um transitioning from like a whole different curriculum british curriculum in ghana like a different way of school and everything i just had to like fit in so like after i was i was settled and i think which that's also a reason why you should consider community college because transitioning from high school into university is not easy it's different your high school what you do in high school is different from what you do in university and a community college is the best place for you to go because you transition there your first semester maybe you might flop it or anything but you still have semesters to go you would better it and you groom yourself you become better so i think that's what happened to me i started with a 2.5 gpa i i graduated with a 3.7 gpa i graduated with honors i dra i graduated I <laughs> but this case about the whole town i, I see mm -hmm. i feel <laughs> You guys, the way I talk about community college with passion, eh, you should see that community college. See, it's 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 one of the best decision, decisions you would make if you have if you fall under all these reasons that I've given, because it's, it has the best transfers. Like I was saying, that's the reason number five. Best transfers is the best transfer. Like they have the best transfers because I was able to transfer from BMCC to NYU and with scholarships. Listen, well, with scholarships, like full ride people get i didn't get full ride but then after i got into um nyu i got full ride because i applied to other scholarships because as a scholarship which i applied for other scholarships and all that so it's it, they have the best transfers because when you do well they have all these programs because they want to motivate the students they want you to know that you can go to other better schools other big schools so in community colleges you have all these big big colleges you have um columbia vasa college um especially bmcc bmcc has all these connections see it's not as i'm doing any advert or campaign for bmcc so see i'm even wearing my bmcc sgs um shirt i was a senator in, in um bmcc so student government association so if you do well you get like at least a 3.0 uh, 3.0 gpa you are involved in extracurriculum activities like i was a um senator maybe you just be a club member you'll be going for club meetings and all that thing your it's, it's your best bet you transfer to a school that you might you might you might not have gotten into when you were in high school like moving from high school applying to it maybe they rejected you let's say they rejected like when i when i first came to um the united states i applied to Lima and they rejected me because they said my wife i didn't do high school yet blah 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 but when i went to bmcc after i finished bmcc Lima accepted me but now i was like Lima, bye like see it's like i've elevated i wanted to go somewhere big and i've seen all these other big big schools that are also giving me all these opportunities not that Lima is a terrible school see Lima is a very very good school just like i wanted to go to lancaster that's how i wanted to go to Lima. but after they rejected me and i also saw other opportunities and then why you had like the major that i wanted to that they had the course that i wanted to like explore majoring and all that so i went for it so transferring into from a community college to a better school your, your chances are high 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 crap so consider consider going to a community college like that's also but there are a few cons about community college because everything has pros and cons the only reason the, the only few cons with uh, a community college is that it's a smaller community the clubs are so you don't have like you have all these frats all these parties or like all these like engagements all these things that a uh, university have like that campus life or it's not all community colleges that have that i know like upstate community college have like residents and all that but not all community colleges have that so that's a call maybe you want to have that college life you want to be in the frats the the frat chapters the sororities you want to have that college life that nine life college um burn fire or bonfire or whatever you want to have that's the only con that i would say the only con about no about community colleges that you wouldn't have that fun fun or that campus life that you'd you'd as well have or you might as well have if you're in a university or like that dorm life or you have a roommate and stuff like that but you have it if you go for retreats or something you have it for a while a week or two but it's different from university that's the only con that i'll say about um community colleges and all that and then the connections are like not as 
great as in um university like you get connections fine you get internships and all that but you know in university in universities they have like all these more internships more scholarships because the bigger the school the bigger the students um the student body and all that the more scholarships you get the more opportunities you get and all that but in in as much as um a community college is small and all that you still have all those opportunities all those scholarships and all those um opportunity um all those scholarships and opportunities i mean you get all of that so if you follow more if you if you check see if you've checked two or three reasons in this video and see don't hesitate going to a community college like you will regret it honestly like and i'm a proud product of a community college so i wouldn't deceive you i wouldn't lie to you so i think that is all for like um reasons why you should consider going to a community college first reason is the tuition or like school fees if school fees or tuition is going to be a problem for you consider it second reason is if you're an average student third reason is what's the third reason smaller communities or like small um if you want a smaller community or more like one-on-one -on -one vibe and the fourth um fourth is if you're undecided fifth is because if you want a better transfer you want to transfer to a better school like a very very good school you should definitely consider going to a community college so i hope this video was useful to you i hope you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it to someone share it to a recently graduated high school student recently graduated high school student if that's it's actually correct so a recent a recent, a recent graduate a high school student a high school student a high schooler just um yeah share it to people let them know that and break that stereotypes about community college that if you go with you are born you don't know anything yeah you are you are no you are not a good student so no 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 not at all nunca nada ra, ra. i'm speaking all the language that i can speak but yeah that's not the idea let's all let's break that um community college stereotype because it's no good don't forget to like this video i said like see i'm giving all you i'm giving you all these free tips and tricks and you don't want to like this video don't want to subscribe to my channel like is it fair is it fair it's not fair so subscribe to my channel i'm going to be leaving the links to black lives matter on my um social media pages like follow share dm me tell me if you want to see more college whatever video you want to see comments in the comment sections if you have questions concerns or like views opinions anything at all reach out to me my email my social media pages even in the comment section and so yeah i'll see you in my next video hopefully assalamu alaikum